Hello there, this is Jack T. Herbert. And I'm Raph again, and we're back for another episode of Pokemon Emerald in Old Ale Town, where things start off scarce. See, I, I, I don't understand why you read all the signs, because it's like, they're so boring. I, I've not read an interesting sign, I think, in any game, yeah, ever. Yeah, that's a good point. Where are we headed again? I forget. Um, we need to go left now. Uh, we've beaten through to everything left, we do here. Left. So, we go through to what's, 102. What's, what's here? Old Ale Town, thank you. Very useful. Who's this bastard? I'm going to catch a whole bunch of Pokemon. Great. Useful. Let's have a look in the grass. Find someone. Mm, can't be bothered. Let's go left and... Oh, we're going to have to battle this guy. Please don't. No. Yeah, if I remember rightly, he has a level 5 Poochiena. Oh, and dear. I don't think he has anything else. If you have Pokemon with you, then you're an official Pokemon trainer. Really? Is that all it is? If I have Pokemon and I just use them as pets, does that mean I'm a Pokemon trainer? Can't say no to my challenge, but uh, no, I want to see. Oh, for fuck's sake! Why you gotta be like this? It'll be good training up. That's all. Yeah, that's good. Thanks to Calvin. Here you go. Okay, I'll do this battle. So he's got a level five Pidgey. That's what I thought. Good, good memory. Of that. <laughs> good memory of about I don't know, like <laughs> five minutes ago. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um. Yeah. I'm good, aren't I? Early battles are piss peasy, p p piss easy because there's nothing you can do. Date the interesting like yeah. spam tackle or whatever. Well, scratch. scratch. Yeah. So I like how they improved tackle a whole bunch in the uh, in the later game because yeah. tackle was so shit. So I don't really remember it prior to this. And then again, I haven't really played it competitively properly in a while. Um, if you're using like, tackle, pr like pr I mean, prior to Gen Five, I didn't if, really if, play if it. You're play if you're much. playing tackle, co using tackle competitively, you're doing it wrong. Who's this guy? Zigzagoon, what are you, a zigzag raccoon by any chance? Yeah, yeah, it, it actually is, Jack. Oh. So yeah, Zigzagoon's kind of the basic Pokemon of, of, of Generation 3, kind of like Rattata was of Gen 1 and, I suppose, Bidoof of Gen 4. Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> and, uh, what's it, uh, what, I guess, what was it in... Gen Centret. 2 was Centret, yeah. Centret, and then in, uh... Patrat in... I suppose Patrat, Patrat yes. Yeah, yeah. Um, so yeah, it's, it's a pretty boring Pokemon. It evolves into Linoon, which again isn't that great. I suppose it's a bit better mm. competitively. Also, Linoon has a weird size. Like, if I remember yeah. rightly, Linoon's actually massive. Exactly, because it, it's based on length. Yes, yeah, true. So yeah, we're not going to show every wild encounter. Yeah, so, I boring. forgot we should battle this guy, because, hey, XP... No, I'll take you on with my bug Pokemon. I wonder what he's going to have there. Bug Pokemon? <laughs> yeah, but it's Generation 3. It's going to be basically... Oh, yeah, good point. It's like... Two Wurmples? <laughs> I actually want to talk about Wurmple a bit. Go um, for it. Because I, I noticed in the comment section people were talking about uh, Wurmple and its evolutions. Um, and uh, Because of game guides back uh, when Pokemon Ruby came out, there, there seems to be a lot of um, misunderstanding and, and misconceptions about how Wurmple evolves. Um, un unbeknownst to most, Wimple doesn't actually evolve using the day and night cycle, nor by gender. Yeah. Um, whereas a lot of people seem to think that it will evolve into Beautifly at, at day and uh, Dustox at night. Actually, um, when you when a Pokemon is first found, the game assigns it a, a what's called a per personality value. Um, and it's I mean it's a long di it's a long number. It's yeah. like 32 digits 30 long. Yeah, it's yeah. binary and it's all complicated. But if you take the last oh, 16 digits of the of the binary value and divide it by 10, yeah. you get a remainder. Yeah. If the remainder is less than 5, it evolves into Beautifly. Ah. If it's 5 or more, it evolves into Dustox. Um, it's, it's not many people actually know that. Um, so, but, but, uh, at its core, does that basically mean it's a case of it's sort of random? Whether well, it gonna, is. Yeah. It's perfectly random. I mean, the, you can't determine a Pokemon's... Personal personality value without using oh external God, devices, out. shall we say? Yeah. Are you a trainer? No, you just become a trainer. We're both beginners. Yeah, I've been Pokemoning for how many years now? Fourteen, I guess. Uh, when? Well, where? When did you mm. get Pokemon Red? Like, yeah, I didn't get Pokemon Red. I got. Okay. Yellow. Yeah, I started with Yellow. Oh, so not fourteen then? No. Um, yellow came out in. I think Yellow came in, in the UK. I don't think it was. I can't I remember. I thought it was. Um, 97, 98, one of them. I was, I know I was seven at the time. Oh, fair enough. So, no, 99 then. Yeah, I thought it was later than that. Yeah, I was gonna say. Okay, I must. 
Uh, you know, this guy's got Zigzagoon boring again. It just scratch his face off. No, if I remember rightly, Pokemon Yellow came out 2000, June 2000. I think. Really? I think so, yeah. So Here in Europe, thought, anyway. I thought gold, gold was around that time. Yeah, it's later than people, than most people think. Wow. Yeah, I mean, technically, I started with Stadium because <laughs> N64. Yeah, I know. I didn't have an like, N64 until much later, like mm. not until I don't know. Five See, years ago, <laughs> I called you because I thought I could beat you. So, so if, if you didn't think you, it, it, you basically go like, hey, yeah, I'm only gonna battle people I'm better than. I'm never gonna like see defeat as a thing ever because that's the way you get better. You don't learn from your mistakes or anything. Petra berries. What this is one of the things I loved about Generation Three is that there were so many new mechanics mm. to the overworld. That, yeah. that, that were introduced and probably why I find Generation 3 I mean Generation 3 is my favourite generation yeah. and on top of that it's, it just feels so much more in depth God, than, than any other generation really exactly. um, because as you'll see later on we've got like sandstorm area of and, course yeah um, there's also the volcano area with, with, with the, the ash with the ash where you can collect ash yeah. in your soot sack yeah, although, I don't know about you, I found that particular mechanic got really obnoxious really fast. Well, it wasn't If you wanted, If you wanted to get the, all the glass blowing stuff, at least, if that, is that what it was for? Yes, yes it was. Yeah, I thought so. It's been a very long time since I've played this, so I don't actually remember the side mechanics so much. You might want to heal your KFC. Uh, do I have to? It's got 8 out of 30 health. Oh yeah. Oh, well, at least we've got Ember, now we can one-shot everyone. Well, well not necessarily. Nah, I'm, uh, we probably won't. I think probably. we can oh, catch shit. Marl in this area, so... Oh, well, I can one-shot this fucking thing, probably. Yeah, you can, easily. Yeah, burn, you bastard. Bastard. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> ah. Cool, so, I'll take over for a bit. Um, yeah. Yeah, go, go ahead and go get healed. Depends what's this way. I mean, we might be able to get to Petalburg City. Oh, speaking of which, we're right. Ah, oh, right, yeah. Petalburg City now. Was the sign look like, busted? Sorry, the sign was busted. Look, go, go out and go back in. The top right, of the sign's busted. Oh yeah, so it is. Oh, nice. I didn't even notice that. To yeah. be honest. <laughs> um. So yeah, we'll heal just heal up, heal our Pokemon before going to the gym. I think. Mm, nah, let's go back. We need to find a Pokemon to catch. Oh. I always do this. I kind of press A rapidly and then forget. So that... Do you know what I do? I press B rapidly. That mm, makes sense. Run back, see if we can catch Pokemon. Yeah, we need Pokemon. It's no fun. I mean, it is fun with one, but it's more fun with more. Who's this? One. <laughs> Piss off. Finding more Pokemon! Oh, ah. oh hello! Oh, a Lotad! Lotad, hello there, Mr. What? What the f What is it supposed to be? Obviously, it's a li lily pad, but. Yeah. Well, let's hope this doesn't kill it. Oh, phew. Oof. That was close. Yeah, so if you haven't already guessed, hey, this is one of the ones we're after because, hey. So, yeah, we got a, we got a lot of um, comments. Uh, yeah. You know, asking us to catch certain Pokemon with certain nicknames. Yep. And out of all of them, the one that we thought was the best was given to a Lotad. Yes! So, Oh, here we are to catch a Lotad. Bloody escape from the bull, God damn it! Why can't your bulls capture things better? Not like that. Shut up. Your bulls just aren't attractive enough, Jack. <laughs> Awkward silence. <laughs> I'm really worried that we're going to run out of Pokeballs. <laughs> yeah. Come on, one, two, three. Jump. Yeah. Cool. Get in there. Exactly. Right. So Lotad's data was out of the Pokedex. Uh, this Pokemon lives in ponds with clean water. It's known to ferry small Pokemon across ponds by carrying them on the broad leaf on its head. That's awesome. It's very nice. Like Giving it to him to the Lotad. Revealing what we yeah. called it. Yay. Yay. So the nickname we've chosen is... <laughs> <laughs> See, like, as, um, I, I actually find this name really funny. Yeah. Because of, um, well... Because of what it, it evolves into in the end, yeah. I, this this po this name made me laugh a lot. So. Yeah, it was pretty. It's pretty great. It's pretty great. Uh, uh, maybe you get it. If you don't, then you just have to wait quite a while. Well, I'm like, yeah, I suppose. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, dance taco, <laughs> dance taco, dance. <laughs> 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 oh, 
<laughs> so yeah. Fucking hell. Dance Taco is now our new Pokemon. Let's go heal it because yeah, heal. Good idea. Again. Yes, yeah, it's heal again. All the healing is. Wow. That was it coherent. Go shit at words again. Yes. It seems to be like this a lot. Let's go. Let's go to the gym. Let's go to the gym. To the I always, gym. Find, we need, we I always to... find it funny because it's like, hey, let's go to Petalburg Gym. That sounds like a guy. It's like it's like Petalburg's his nickname. Like, oh, yeah. hi there, Petalburg Gym. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Jim. J yeah, Jim. Yeah. 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 So, yeah. so talking about. Okay. Well, if it isn't Jack Ruff, so you're all finished moving in. I'm surprised that you managed to get here by yourself. Oh, I see. You're with your Pokemon. Yeah, we can't get here by ourselves. <laughs> what the hell are you talking about? Well, maybe the trainers wouldn't have fought us then. That would make... Yeah, but then the, the, wi the wild ones would yeah. attack us and kill hmm. our faces. I mean, I mean Zika's game will bite your face off, wouldn't it? Kick it. It's not exactly the strongest of things. Anyway. Hmm. Then I guess you're going to become a trainer like me, Jack Ruff. I suppose I haven't learned bite that yet, would they? <laughs> anyway, yes. Let's... That's great news. I'll be looking forward to it. Oh, some. Oh no! I it. really didn't like this about this game. I didn't see the point in Wally at all. He was just annoying. Oh, yeah. Like he just turns up every now and then with this really, quite frankly, shitty team. <laughs> and yeah. The, <laughs> the only time I ever found him useful was at the end of the game, where I wanted to train up a Pokemon quickly. I would just go into a victory road and be like, "Yeah, okay, I'll fight, fight Wally." Oh, can you spa Could you spam fight him? I believe so. Oh, I think so. Anyway, well, I think it was like then. came up every now and then or something. All right. So yeah, if you can fight him multiple times, that would be good. Then yeah. All right. So it, this is essentially one of these things where in the game, they always have a. This is how you catch Pokemon mechanic. Yeah. Just to, just to teach new people how to how to do it. Yeah. I always think Wally also looks like N, just like a younger version I, of N from the know, later games. Now that you mention it, I can see that. Yeah. This is Zigzagoon. So yeah, there's not really a lot we can do now because nah. uh, this part of the game is automatic. Yep. So we've just got to wait. What's I also it? hate the fact he has a Ralts. I mean, the thing is, the thing really stupid is that it's like, he has level 5 Ralts. The next time you beat battle him, he has a higher than level 5 Ralts. At level 5, Ralts only has Growl. How does he train that Ralts up? Maybe he catches. Some, wait, when next time you fight him, does he only still only have the rolls? I have no idea. I can't remember. If he has something else, he could have caught that, and then you know. either that or he's just—he's a rich kid and has bought loads of rare candies. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Drug dealer or TMs. <laughs> yeah, I suppose depends on what TMs he has. Yeah. Psychic or is that a TM in this gen? I'm not sure. I don't remember. I know it's a TM in um. Current gen, yeah, it is definitely useful. Can't much prefer the current gen TMs to the old old way. Yeah, the fact, especially from a competitive point of view, oh, I'm God, actually yeah. able to teach more than one Pokemon the same attack now, which is really useful. Yeah, without Just having to replay the entire fucking game. Well, yeah, exactly. Especially attacks like Protect. Yeah, Protect. Yeah, and also like the uh, the Fire Blast and those sorts of ones. Well, I, I mean, tend not quite, to use those. But... Yeah, they're quite common though, aren't they? In competitively, yeah, not really, really, oh, I well, they were base set. Uh, it's only got 70 accuracy, and so people yeah. tend not to use them because over flamethrower flame flame or thunderbolt. Flame flame throwing, yeah. Yeah. I, I thought thunder was more common though. That's probably because of rain dance, actually. Yeah, exactly. So yeah. now we can't really we can't battle gym leader in this town yet. Nope, because well, he's our dad. Yeah, and also he's the fourth gym leader if I remember right. Yeah, which is kind of weird. They haven't they've done this in another Norman. Yeah, they have generation one. Giovanni. Um, obvi City. Obviously, yeah, that was more of a suck. Yeah, you can. So here's Wally's house here. Yeah, what a Wally. You uh, Mr. Jack Raff. Thank you for playing with Wally a little while ago. He's been frail and sickly ever since he was a baby. We've sent him to stay with my relatives in Verdant Turf for a while. The air is a lot cleaner there than it is here. What's that? Where's Wally? Ha! <laughs> Where's Wally? Where's Wally? <laughs> I never noticed that before. <laughs> <laughs> um, for for reference, here in the UK, uh, it's Wes Wally, not Wes Waldo. Yeah. So, um, so that's funny. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I uh, wonder if in the American version they would have called him Waldo instead. I doubt it. But it depends. I don't know. Maybe that would be funny. Then again, I don't want to look for him. So. Yeah, exactly. Where's I don't know. so? Where to go from here? I have no idea. 
I probably should have been paying attention to what my dad said. <laughs> yeah, that, yeah, that would have been a good idea. Oops. Uh, Excuse uh, me, let me guess. You're from... From the way you're dressed, you're a Pokemon trainer. Okay. Well, maybe not. Your clothes aren't all that dirty. What? You're either a rookie trainer or you're maybe just an ordinary kid. So, dirty clothes are a good thing? Yeah, it means you don't wash and you smell. But that's a bad no, no, thing. You smell. That was just a definite statement. <laughs> I'm only the land in search of talented trainers. <laughs> I'm sorry to have taken your time. You're an ass. What a, what a cunt. Uh, <laughs> Oopsie. <laughs> Oopsie. <laughs> <laughs> that slipped out. Sorry. <laughs> hey, uh, where, where else do we go? You're going to throw a Pokeball. Just throw a Pokeball. Who gives a fuck about anything? Oh. No, I don't want to battle you. Why not? Because I hate battles. Oh. Oh, it's here. This is the um, man I was talking about's house before in the previous oh, episode. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. There's the Wingo, and I think... He's not here right now. Oh, berries. Berries. Delicious berries, which are totally safe for humans oh, to eat. Oh, berries? Yeah, I thought they were berries. Can humans eat the actual berries? I mean, I have no, no idea. Uh, uh, no, you know, I've got into this really Pokemon. bad habit, and I keep calling blueberries orange berries. <laughs> it makes for a really awkward conversation where I'm like, Oh, you've got some orange berries. And then they're like... What's an orange berry? Yeah, and then I've got to explain to them what I mean by yeah. orange berries, and then all of a sudden. And is it, is it like is it like hey, I see you've got a raspberry there? Oh wait, it's actually still called a raspberry. <laughs> a raspberry, yeah. Yeah, I, I guess I guess you could say, hey, look, you got some bananas there, and you have got some nana berries there. What I find really well, funny no, about no, them, that's the pineapple. Yeah. yeah. No, no, nana berries, yeah. Nana berries yeah, they're, they're, the, they're the banana ones. Oh. What I find really funny about the nana berries is in the Spanish version of the game, mm. they're called latino berries. Oh. Um, no, in Spanish, banana is platano. Oh, right, yeah, uh, yeah, So they've kind of stuck with the, um, yeah, play on words. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. I think that one of them had was like a pineapple, and it was, the, what's the pineapple looking berry called? I have no idea. A, a pin pi berry? Pi pinap berry. Pinap, that's it. I hate trainer tips. Any Pokemon that appears even once in a battle is awarded EXP points. To raise a weak Pokemon, put it at the left of the team list. Hmm. As soon as a battle starts, switch it out. It will earn AXP points without being exposed to any harm. So, in this little forest here, we've got um, a mission to do, I believe. Yep. yep. Um, but, looking at the time, I think we're going to leave it here. Yep. Just because, hey, well, I mean... We don't want this episode to be running on as much as the last <laughs> one. Uh, so Fucking 27 minutes. <laughs> yeah. So, again, much like the last episode, leave a comment asking us to catch Pokemon and yep. leave a nickname with for yep. the Pokemon. Uh, we will choose, once again, based on the nickname we deem the best. Yes, we would prefer you to um, put, put comment something which is recent, but if you do just have a suggestion for something later on in the game, you are more than welcome to. If we find it's really like a great nickname, then we'll wait and get that whenever we get the chance to. Yeah, exactly. We're not, we're not going to just catch a Pokemon because it's in the area. So, for example, if you asked us to catch something like a Whalmer, that had a really funny nickname. We'll wait until Wilma's available yeah. and catch it later. Exactly. So that's the end of this episode. I'll let Jack say his outro because he's <laughs> very anal about it. Uh, thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. There we go. <laughs>